What's good, peeps? Morning, everyone. I had some news. Well, three bits of news, actually. Um, if you watched my video I did a few days ago, I did say that I've got something to tell you on Wednesday. Today is Thursday, so we're a day late, so apologies for that. Uh, let's start with the first bit of news, the studio. Uh, very important. I think we're in in two weeks. I think we're in in two weeks. I was there last night. Um, I am happy-ish about the progress, but there isn't much to get done. You know, in, in your head, you build it up to this big, like, oh my God, there's so much to get done. Um, there isn't much. There isn't much. And already, with the plasterboard on one wall, the sound sounds like it's getting better. We chucked a bit of acoustic foam on the walls yesterday as well. Not permanently, just to see how it would sound. It did sound even better as well. There was no big echo in it. If you guys remember the video I did, it felt like there was a massive echo. That's not there. Um, so we're painting um, one, two, three sides of the walls a bit darker than this, actually. Just a tad bit darker than this. Um, what else is happening? The carpet is getting laid out end of next week. And then a couple of other little bits and bobs for the builder to do or the decorator to do. And that's kind of it. And then I go in and do my magic and make it look like the way I want it to look. So I think we're about two weeks away from the studio being done, which is um, which is very exciting. Very, very exciting. I get my front room back, which is nice. Um, I've not had my front room back for years. So that's the first bit of news. The second bit of news, the prize. Remember, I, I don't want to ignore this because I did mention it. I, I said I was going to give away something. Um, what I initially was going to give away was tickets to Fight Camp. And then obviously we found out the tickets were 750 quid. So we can't do that. But I do want to do something. Um, I don't know... Like what, if I'm honest with you? I don't know if I go crazy and get, um, is it a PS5? What are they, they're like 500 quid? We might do that. Hmm? Not that I'm rich, but we might do that. That's, um, that's a good prize. You know what we might do? We might do like first, second, third prize. We'll see. We'll see what I can put together in the kitty for a first, second, third, because I hate those competitions where it's just one prize and that's it. <laughs> that's kind of fucked up so we might do first second third all right this is the big news all the others were like the build up to this um you guys have well some of you most of you have just followed the channel wouldn't have known my progress but a lot of you that have followed the channel and even the channel i had before with ryan would know my progress and where i've gone in life and the opportunities i've taken um obviously starting in africa and doing stuff for Questy Sports and then ESPN, then Fox, then coming over here and um, working for Sky, which has always been like a dream, if I'm honest with you. Sky, Sky was a dream. Ne never a dream that I thought I would get in a million years, but a dream nonetheless. Then TalkSport, who have been absolutely fantastic for me. Like TalkSport have been just amazing. And I've actually seen how I've improved as a broadcaster since they've given me my opportunities. All right, the next step for me is, um, let's just might as well just say it, it's the zone. That's the next step, people. Um, I am going to be working with the zone um, on a few things, on quite a lot of things actually. But yeah, that's what's happening. Now, some of you are going to be extremely happy for me. Some of you are going to be like, "Oh, our day, man." I, I just, I know, I know. Um, not because you're not happy with my progress, but because obviously. I talk boxing, the zone's a boxing broadcaster. Is going to be a, is there gonna be this conflict of interest where Addy doesn't give his true opinion on an event now because he's working for the zone? And I understand how you would feel. I will tell you now, no. I will tell you now, no. That's that won't happen. Um let's not forget. I think a lot of people, when I started working for Sky, a lot of people thought I was gonna start cr stop, sorry, criticizing pay-per-views. Didn't stop. Go and check the receipts are there, go and check the videos. It didn't stop. I was still my own person. Um, I have, I've quietened down in the last few years anyway. I'm not as crazy as I used to be with my, my opinions. But yeah, that's the news. Um, me and Dazone have been kind of going back and forth for the last, last month really. Last month. Uh, they reached out to me um, about a month ago um, just kind of get a feel for my interest. And I was interested. I, you know, I was interested because I saw Matchroom release their talent, obviously. And I was like, mm, you know, like, I, I could be doing something there. Not directly working for Matchroom, who have reached out in the past and have not gone for it. But I thought I could do something there. And then Zone reached out and I was like, this makes sense to me. So the idea initially will be like an Akambarak type show. 
Um, I have done in the last few weeks some screen tests with a few Xboxes um, to see which one's the best fit. Um, you'll soon find out which one it is. I can't really reveal that yet, just in case, just in case something's going on behind the scenes that I don't know about. But I've done three screen tests with Xboxes and I enjoyed all three. I enjoyed all three. Um, it was tough. <laughs> it was tough. My boxing knowledge was pushed to the limit, but thank God it's a sport that I do know. I mean, there are some people that know a lot more than me, but I, I know boxing. Um, so yeah, look, I wanted to tell you guys first. I wanted to tell you guys before it gets announced and it gets put on socials and before you see me at an event and about, well, I didn't, know, I didn't tell us. So I'm telling you guys now first. Um, I only officially found out, today's Thursday, I probably found out 100% it's getting done on Tuesday. So I think that's when I was like, okay, let, let's get this done. Because before that, I have to be honest with you, I was going back and forth with them. <clears throat> but um, I am excited. Again, it's just that progression from, you know, you guys know the story. I left Isn't in Council. It would be actually, I think it would be six years or five years or six years. I can't remember if it was 2017 or 2016 when I left. But we, we, we've slowly started to progress since then. I think um, it was too good an opportunity to turn down too good to work with a broadcaster like that that's doing I think doing big things I think I think doing big things and I am um, I even explained that to them I was like because they asked me my honest opinion I was like you know things could be better there's no doubt but I thought that the Billy Joe Saunders Canelo fight looked really good no I said this to you guys so that's not me trying to kiss their ass I said it like it looked really good so um yeah that's the news um, it's funny because I've seen a lot of comments and said, oh, Addy should be on the zone. And I wanted to respond and say something, but I couldn't. But that's it. What's your feelings? Let me know. <laughs> Try and be happy for me. Again, I understand that some of you who come to this channel for a very raw opinion on the sport, I understand that some of you will be a bit, he ain't going to give his opinion raw anymore. Trust me, I will. Trust me, I will. You know, they watched this channel. That's how they kind of found out about me as well. They said they've watched me on there several times. So they know exactly what they're getting. They know exactly what I'm like. Um, so, yeah, that's the news, people. Um, yeah, it's funny, doing this video, I, I, I'm I, a bit like, ooh. It's not, like, I know, it's funny, I know who's not going to be happy. <laughs> like, I know CRB who has another name for the zone, isn't going to be happy. But I know he's going to be happy for the, for the opportunity for me, if that makes any sense. So maybe not happy that I'm on the zone, but happy that it's Ade, and I like Ade. And hopefully that's a lot of you, a lot of your opinions. Uh, the first thing I'll be working on, I'll be, um, I think I'll be doing the Akin Barak show next week. It's crazy how this is all happening, by the way. And then I go into um, the fight camp bubble for... Um, Conor Ben um, Granados. So I go into that on Wednesday evening and then do a show Thursday, Friday, obviously cover the event Saturday, come out Sunday. So it's busy. I've got a lot to prepare for as well as fucking doing talk sport as well as sorting out my studio. But um, I am excited. So yeah, that's it guys. Peace. <laughs>